Hi friends, I'm Dr. Jeev Ram. Today I will discuss about Quincy Peritonsular Abscess. What is Quincy? It is a collection of pus in the peritonsular space which lies between the capsule of tonsil and the superior constrictor muscle or it is a localized accumulation of pus in the peritonsular tissues that forms is the result of superative tonsillitis. Causes of quency It occurs as a complication of an untreated or partially treated tonsillitis. Organisms Streptococcus, Staphylococcus, Haemophilus. Pathophysiology Tonsillitis or pharyngitis. Tonsillar crypt get infected and sealed off. Intratonsillar abscess It bursts into peritonsillar space through tonsillar capsule. Peritonsillitis Peritonsillar abscess Peritonsillar abscess causes laryngeal abscess, laryngeal edema. If not treated, spread through blood causes septicemia, infection to the heart causes endocarditis, infection to the kidney causes nephritis, infection to the brain causes brain abscess, to the lungs causes lung abscess and pneumonia, every obstruction cellulitis of the jaw, neck or chest, pleural effusion. Signs and symptoms of quency more common in children. Symptoms start 2 to 8 days before the formation of abscess, unilateral sore throat and pain, during swelling, orinophagia, fever, malaise, headache, distortion of vice, hot potato vice, neck pain, associated with tenderness, swollen lymph nodes, referred ear pain, halitosis, dulling of saliva, trismus, limited ability to open the mouth, Redness and edema in the tonsils, uvula may be displaced towards an affected site. Diagnosis can be done by history collection, physical examination, expiration of the abscess using a needle culture, CT scan, ultrasonography. Management of quency, surgical management, needle expiration, low cost and good patient tolerance. The mucous membrane or the swelling is first sprayed with a topical anesthetic and then injected with a local anesthetic. Single or repeated needle aspirations are performed to decompress the abscess. Position Sitting position to make it easier to expectorate the pus and blood that accumulate in the pharynx. Patient experiences almost immediate relief. If 3 ml or more of purulent material is aspirated, then patient will likely need to be seen the next day for further aspiration. Surgical incision and drainage of the pus, this will relieve pain. Tonsillectomy for patients who are not relieved from needle aspiration or incision and drainage. The risk for bleeding after surgery is more than normal removal of tonsils in tonsillectomy. Medical management of quency, antibiotics to treat infection, Clindamycin, metronidazole in combination with penicillin G.